Welcome once again uh, to Learners Coach. So let's take a look at some of the in-demand hospitality diploma courses in Kenya, or we can talk about highly ranked uh, diploma courses in hospitality that can be pursued here in Kenya. So as you know, hospitality industry is one of the booming industries, and you are rest assured that once you pursue this particular course, you can secure uh, some job in some very uh, good organizations. So without wasting uh, much time, let's maybe look at the first uh, diploma course. And I will always maybe introduce you to some of the institutions or other colleges that offer these particular uh, courses. So the first diploma course is actually diploma in housekeeping and laundry operations. So if you're a student who wants to pursue this particular uh, course, uh, you'll be able to do some kind of uh, a laundry operations, you'll be taught critical components of running laundry and housekeeping operations at some given hotel within the hospitality uh, sector. So what you need also to understand about this particular course is that it takes uh, between two to three years, right? And of course, for you to be able to enroll for this particular course, you need to have a mean grade of uh, C uh, minus or rather D plus uh, within your KCSE so that you can be able to uh, be given a chance to pursue this particular uh, diploma. So as I mentioned, maybe let's maybe look at a typical college or other institution here in Kenya that offers uh, this type of uh, uh, course. So one of the renowned uh, college or institution is the Kenya Utali. Uh, Kenya Utali is a college that actually offers some of the accredited hospitality courses that you can find. So you can see it offers this particular housekeeping and laundry course. So as you can see, it typically takes two years, right? And you will have some uh, modules to pursue, like you'll be taken through fundamentals of housekeeping, uh, introduction to hospitality industry, fundamentals of laundry operations, right? There are quite a number uh, of uh, units that are going to be taken through, address uh, cleaning operation skills, Right, and of course, you are typically expected also to pro, uh, to move to year two, where you are going to do some kind of environmental studies, industrial training. So these are very in-depth uh, course that I always recommend you to pursue. So once you are done, uh, you can be able to maybe open your own laundry shop. That is a good beauty of this. You can also work with hospitals, uh, restaurants, airlines. You can also become a member of some clubs. You can also join some uh, cleaning cleaning companies, right? So there are quite a number of career opportunities that you're likely to uh, get once you pursue uh, this particular uh, diploma in housing and laundering course. So I've just mentioned uh, Kenya Utali College. I know there are quite a number of other colleges that you can always check. They offer the same uh, in uh, the same course, right? So let's look at number two in our list. Uh, to number two, we have Diploma in Front Office Operations. Now, this is also another uh, well sought out uh, diploma uh, course. So prospective students uh, will be introduced into the practices and infrastructure of front office operations, right? So it will highlight some standards that you need to maybe offer uh, to your clients when you are giving them some services within the front office. So the duration of this particular uh, course typically takes around uh, six months to three years. So it depends. You can start with certificate in front office operation, uh, which actually takes roughly six months. Then you can upgrade uh, to a diploma, which will take uh, three years. Now, most institutions uh, actually admit you when you have um, a KCSC mini grid of deep learning and above. But ideally, you'll also find other institutions that uh, maybe will require you to have a D plus or a C minus. So it depends. So let's look at what, maybe one of the institutions that can always uh, maybe pursue this particular diploma in front office operations. So uh, one of the institutes that offers this particular diploma in front office operations is uh, Thika Institute of Business Studies. Now, ideally, it, you might get maybe different names, Diploma in Front Office Operations, Diploma in Front Office Management, a Diploma in Front Office Administration. They're one and the same thing. Because if you look at the units that they provide, 
uh, they are similar. So you need just to check on which particular institution you're going to uh, pursue this particular course. So in this case, uh, you can say uh, they take uh, typically one year, six months, that is uh, within the Institute of Business Studies. And of course, the minimum uh, KCSE requirement is a day plane. So that is just one of the uh, institutions. I'm aware there are other institutions. I'll actually share uh, my blog a link, as you can see. So this particular blog link has different uh, colleges, as you can see, right, that will give you an in-depth, uh, maybe course details about these particular uh, courses that you're mentioning. So let's look at number three. At number three, we have Diploma in Food and Beverage Sales and Services. Now, this is a program that combines classroom instructions with hands-on training in some very prestigious hotels in Kenya. So I know of uh, Boma Institute, uh, or rather Boma International Hospital Hospitality College that offers this, right? Now, by the time you complete this particular uh, study, you should be able to maybe have some skills uh, in sales and services in regards to how you can manage your, the foods and beverages. Now, the course duration here is uh, roughly 18 months, right? So that is uh, uh, one year, uh, six months, right? So admission requirements, you need to have a minimum grade within your KCA, uh, KCAC of D plus and above. Uh, kindly note that other organizations or other institutions, once you have a certificate, they can always uh, give you an option to proceed with your diploma. So maybe let's look at a typical uh, institution or other college that offers this particular uh, diploma. So the institution that offers this, uh, an example of an institution that offers this uh, diploma is actually Machakos uh, Institute of Technology. I'm aware that also other uh, colleges or institutions offer these particular uh, courses, but I will always encourage you, uh, kindly look at approved TVET institutes, right? Uh, that offers the accredited courses. So the ones that I'm mentioning are approved. So you can see here, uh, the Diploma in Food and Beverage Sales and Service. Actually, it has maybe two components in one, a Diploma in Food and Beverage Production, and of course, Diploma in Food and Beverage Sales and Service Management. Right. So the body here is NEC, and you can see the units are offered in modules. So module one, you'll have to do quite a number of uh, units, as you can see, uh, quite a number of uh, topics. So you do mathematics, communication skills, Module two, you'll also have additional uh, units. You do law related to catering, hospitality, accounting, and then module three, right? So as a, if you look at the requirements from this particular institute, you need to have a KCC uh, mini grade of C minus, right? So that is Machakos Institute of Technology. You can also check on any other institute around you that offers this particular uh, program. So the other diploma in hospitality course in our list is diploma in food production. Uh, we have already seen Machakos Institute offering it, but we also have uh, this particular uh, standalone diploma in food production. So this curriculum prepares you as a student uh, to have some uh, maybe skills or hands-on approach, uh, maybe deal with uh, daily kitchen operations, right? So ideally, the course duration here, it takes between 18 months to 36 months. So it depends. You can start from, again, a certificate and proceed to the diploma, right? Uh, the admission requirements, most institutions prefer that you have a KCC main grade of C-. minus. Some will actually uh, maybe allow you with a D+. plus. Some will allow you to have or proceed with the, uh, the certificate that you maybe you, you got from their institution. So there are quite a number of ways of proceeding to this particular uh, course. So maybe which other uh, institution that offers this particular uh, course? Maybe let's uh, find out. So again, Machakos Institute of Technology offers this particular uh, diploma in food uh, production and beverage produ production. We also have another institute here, East Africa Institute of Certified Studies that also offers this. 
they offer diploma in food and beverage management, which is actually similar to food, a diploma in food and beverage production. So we say the course out and here, it typically takes six months. So you need to have a grade of a D plus, uh, sorry, D and below. So we can also check on any other uh, institution that offers this kind of uh, uh, hospitality course and you can always enroll, right? So the other uh, diploma in hospitality course is diploma in travel and tourism management. So this is also in demand. Uh, typically, I really recommend uh, for those of us who like traveling, right, uh, to pursue this kind of uh, course. So the course prepares you as a student uh, to have some kind of managerial and operational abilities required in tourism and travel sector. So, uh, of course, you'll be able to address different issues when it comes to uh, maybe issues within a tourism industry. Now, the course duration here, as you can see, it actually uh, takes between 18 to 36 months. So, it depends whether you're doing a certificate in travel and tourism management or you're going for a diploma in travel and tourism management. So, admission requirements, uh, maybe it also uh, depends on the institution. There are others, there are institutions that will maybe uh, require you to have a KCSE mean grade of a C minus. Some will require you to have a D plus, right? So you need to maybe check on the admission requirements of any particular institution that you want to uh, enroll in. Now, a typical institution that I know that offers this particular uh, course is actually uh, Utali College. So Utali College has been there for a while and it's well known for these particular hospitality courses. So as you can see uh, from the website, the travel and tourism management course uh, takes roughly three years, right? And it also takes six months with that uh, attachment, right? So you can see the topics here include ecology, uh, conservation, introduction to tour operations, in tourism, so there are quite a number of things that you're going to learn. Career opportunities here, you can work with the travel agencies, tour companies, car hire. The best is that also you can start your own company to offer these kind of uh, services, right? As you can see here, they aggregate, uh, they need you to have a C, uh, your KCSA, as I mentioned. Uh, it depends with the kind of uh, institute or the college that you're going to do this particular uh, course, right? So let's take a look at the other uh, diploma course. So we also have diploma in hospitality management. Uh, if you maybe ask me which one is now the best amongst all these that we've talked about, now this one tops the chart, right? So diploma in hospitality management will not only allow you to work locally, but also you can work in other organizations or firms internationally especially if you enroll for the International, International Hospitality Management course uh, from maybe Boma uh, College. So you'll actually gain a variety of skills that are covered within, within this particular course, right? So you learn or it will prepare you in careers in hospitality management, tourism, travel, and also you'll get some essential knowledge ideas within the hospitality industry. Course duration, uh, typically it uh, you can always do it within 18 months, three years, right? I remember this also includes some duration of the attachment, right? So admission here, you'll need to have uh, maybe a KCSC main grade of D+. plus. Some organization or institutions will require to have a C- minus or a C plane, right? So it depends with which college you're enrolling in, right? So ideally, as I mentioned, uh, you not need to have these qualifications of the KCSE. You can start from a certificate. So now that you are just talking about diploma, I won't really mention the certificate. But if you want us to look at the certificate uh, that you need to pursue within hospitality industry, we can uh, go ahead. So a typical college or other institution that offers this particular uh, hospitality management is ZTEC a university. A ZTEC is well known, actually it's a university, it's well known for offering uh, accredited courses. So from the website here you can see they offer diploma in hospitality management. 
uh, the career opportunities here is that you can become a career a catering manager, SPO manager, something, everything to do with management, restaurant manager, right? So there are quite a number of career opportunities here, right? So it takes six semesters, right, with one attachment. So you can see here, the aggregate grade uh, is C minus and other requirements, right? So check with the ZTEC. <clears throat> if you want to do international hospitality management, then we have a BOMA, International Hospitality College, right? So you'll do your Swiss diploma in international hospitality manage, uh, management, as you can see. So typically it takes two years uh, for their course duration. As you can see, entry requirements here, you need to have a C minus and a C minus in either English or Israeli, right? So that is it uh, for the hospitality management. Then we can also have a look at a diploma in catering and accommodation management, right? So here, once you attain this particular diploma, you'll be prepared to assume managerial and supervisory responsibilities in any given organization, right? That requires accommodations and catering uh, services. So these are very important uh, diploma when it comes to uh, hospitality sector. Now the duration here is that you'll do or you can actually enroll for uh, two years or three years depending again with the college and of course the KCSA requirement here you need to have a mean grade of C- in your uh, KCSA. Remember I always emphasize that you can start from certificate level. So our a well-known uh, college is the Thika Institute that offers this kind of um, so Thika Institute of Business Studies uh, offers this uh, a diploma in catering and accommodation management. So uh, you're not really uh, maybe it's not a must that you go to Thika Institute of Business Studies. I'm just using these colleges to show you. Uh, maybe some details of this particular course. So you can always find uh, the nearest college that is accredited with David, and you can always pursue your courses uh, from there. So you can say here from Thika Institute, I need to have a KCC, a mean grade of a C minus. It takes two years uh, to pursue this particular uh, course, right? So if you want further information, about what I've just talked about, I will share this particular uh, website link so that you go through it step by step and get uh, some details of what is expected uh, from you so that at least when you are planning to pursue this particular diploma courses, you have hands on information that will help you make the correct uh, decision. So, happy learning and all the best. Kindly don't forget to become part of this. Yeah,